What's up guys, another video. Um, today we're gonna be making the switch. Um, as you saw in a couple of previous videos, the car was running on batch, then I switched it to sequential, and in the last couple of videos it was batch fired. And pretty well tuned, so now I'm gonna do the swap to sequential, and then we're going to see if there are any noticeable differences. The car is behind me, idling. Um, yeah, so we're gonna let it warm up and do the switch. Then we're gonna look at idle quality and then take it for a drive and then look at the wide open throttle to see if there are any changes whatsoever. Anyways, guys, stay tuned. So, as I with the car to get up to full temp, um, just go, I want to see the difference between launch control, how it sounds, how it behaves as well. So, these are my current launch control settings. We have a 3200 hard cut and a 3000 RPM soft cut. I'm going to put in well, absolute timing, negative 15 degrees, and we had infinite fuel on top of the map. So, this is what it sounds like, and this is how it behaves. get any changes when I switch it over to the sequential injection. A short drive so I'm eating the motor you can see we are idling somewhere around uh, mid 14s jumps from about 14.2 to, to about 14.5 there about 1.55 there about pulse width at about a thousand rpm relatively smooth for batch fire so now I'm gonna do the switch and then we're gonna do a back-to-back -back comparison Okay, so literally about 30 seconds later, I made the switch to sequential and we can notice some changes. Alright, my pulse width has changed from a 1.5 to a 2.2 and I'm now idling somewhere about 12 FL ratio. Right, so my dead times were not 100%. Uh, there were just some dead times I came up with, so this may be the reason why I have some variation. Highly doubt, but I'm not sure. Hopefully, someone who is more uh, poke around with that subject can let me know. Yeah, so off the bat, you can see some changes. Sequential runs a bit richer. I don't say about the same. Even with the richer FPL ratio, but sequential runs a bit richer than batch. Alrighty, so I'll take it out for a quick drive with nothing else being changed and then I'll record the difference.
try out the launch control. Sounds a bit neater, but mm, for the most part, it still sounds just about the same to me. Okay, and quickly before I call it a, a day, um, I went ahead and just around the idle section, I took off 30% fuel. We were, we were idling somewhere in the mid 12s, close to 14. Um, so, 30% difference in fuel just by switching into sequential injection. Idle is pretty steady, pretty smooth. Alright, so I'm gonna do some more tweaking when I get some more time. But in a nutshell, um, that was my back to back comparison of switching from batch to sequential injection. Alrighty, guys, so after re reviewing the maps, um, I've come to a conclusion. Um, well, for the most part, um, FEL ratios did not change between map, the batch, and the sequential drive. Um, pretty much remained the same. Um, wide open throttle that is and cruising however um, for idle um, I noticed well as you saw in the previous clip um, sequential wanted a bit less fuel in the map in comparison to the batch map so from well my car like you saw the map remained the same from batch all I did was I converted it to sequential and I ended up having to pull about 30 50% 30 around the idle portion I Still think I can pull another five percent to get it up to storage. Yes, yeah, so sequential wanted a bit less fuel. Um, what else? I noticed drivability was a bit good, well better, um, throttle response and whatnot. Well, the birds are just making all sorts of noises today. Anyways, yes, so throttle for the response was better. I think um, I'll probably need to do some longer drives so come to a, con a better conclusion but for now I see yeah seems a, a little better but all in all I would say it's worth it um, would I lose slip if I did not have sequential probably not uh, my car ran fine well has been running fine for about four or five years on batch injection with zero issues so if I did not have it I will not lose any slip but I do think sequential makes the car drive better just slightly but it does drive better um what else i guess that's it in a nutshell um like always guys um, if you think i missed anything if you have any comments leave it down below um forget to like subscribe share and like always guys stay safe and i'll catch you guys in the next one